I'll see you soon, all right? You two work hard now. Now just remember, you've got a lot of work to do. Make sure Joyce works hard, Cindy. And the script will be finished in no time. Okay? Bye. Bye-bye. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. They'll get the script finished in time. You'll see. absolutely quiet, otherwise I can't concentrate on my script writing. More important, this script about the last emperor of China is so significant that it may just turn around my whole career. Help me in my quest right now. Please help me, spirits. What's that man burning? I think it's for his worshipping. Let's go over and ask him. Hey, ladies, you shouldn't go over there. He's a Taoist. It's forbidden. A Taoist? Isn't that an old religion in China? Listen. These towers can be dangerous. If the spirits of the bodies he guards appear, <laughs> and sometimes you get too close, well, suddenly, the spirit enters your body. <laughs> hey, now, I'm very serious. Once the spirit enters your body, it's like a parasite, and it'll torture you, and you'll wish you're dead. That really arouses my interest. Isn't it right that in the Qing Dynasty, the boxes in the White Lotus were closely related to Taoism? Cindy, let's have a look. It should be interesting for the research. Uh -huh. Hey, ladies, don't go down there. Wait! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what that man said there is right. The spirits can be dangerous, and they return to find a live body. And it's very difficult to cure. <laughs> in my contemporary Chinese history studies, I find many people who die violent deaths. So from what you said, this world is full of evil spirits. Why aren't you afraid of them? That's a good question, because I am a Taoist priest. I am the medium through which the spirits communicate. So without me, they'd be lost, huh? Huh? Ah, Holt, what are you going to do? be in big trouble unless you're careful. 
And you two as well, you're already in trouble. Believe me, I am telling the truth. Ridiculous. He's talking nonsense. Let's get going. Hey, wait up. Hey, hey wait, if you have any problems, I live nearby. Sir? Here. Our boss can't come here very often, I suppose. <laughs> Please, come in. Cindy's room. Yours is just next door. Oh. Let's go and have a look. I'm sure you're going to be very comfortable. Do you feel cold? Joyce, telephone. I wonder who it is. It must be Dixon. He can't bear leaving you alone. He's a nuisance. Yeah. Hello? Dixon? Come on now, don't be so silly. I've got Cindy here. Everything's fine. I can look after myself. Oh, okay, I must start my work now. Oh. Oh. Here, take the phone with you. Hey, it's inconvenient. Huh? Being here without a telephone. I think the opposite. It will be more convenient with no more boring phone calls to disturb me. You may go now. Tell the boss I'll finish the screenplay within a week. Yes, I will, Joyce. Cindy, put the luggage aside. We have to start work now. You're telling me my driver was killed? Well, what the hell's happening, Jackie? I've just come from the police station. They've no idea. Jackie, I've got to get some answers on this. Don't forget, I pay your wages, and for a detective to want a keep, she's got to get me results. You understand what I'm saying to you? Of course I do. Just believe in me. 
That's all I ask. If you need any questions answered, just ask me. I want this case solved and solved fast. Did he have any enemies? He's got no enemies, because I brought him from abroad. Any other obvious questions? <clears throat> Look. He's not only my driver, but also my bodyguard. I suspect there's something behind it all. Well, maybe someone's trying to screw up your filming schedule. This movie you're going to do, The Last Emperor of China, maybe it's all tied in. Hmm. I thought about that. It's a very good possibility. Well, go on. I know that several film companies are also planning to produce a film about The Last Emperor of China. They're still in pre-production. If you have any information on these other film producers, hand it over to me and let me deal with them. That's my job, okay? Here's all the information about them. If you need it, just take it. Mm. Hey, stop! You bitch! Come back here! I'll get you! You're gonna die! <laughs> Get in! So what about the big driver, huh? Oh, it's getting close, but... Uh, Hmm. Uh, excuse me, the washroom? Right over there. Uh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You want a drink? I know him. He's Jim Walton, one of the film producers in Lawrence's file. Anything wrong? Oh, no, nothing. Just daydreaming. Will you excuse me? I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Walton. <laughs> Pouring outside. Cold? No. Do you want something to eat? some food first. Joyce! Joyce! Have some food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cindy! Why does 
the soft drink tastes so peculiar. Aware of the conspiracy in the Empire, the Emperor Guangxu summoned Pu Yi, a three-year-old boy and heir to the throne. Oh! <laughs> 
Are you all right? What happened? What happened to you? Cindy, are you... Uh... Joyce, Joyce, you just fainted. I was worried. Did I... did I go outside? No. Are you sure? Of course. I've been typing all the time. If you'd had left, I'd have known. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ah! Blood! Don't be scared. I just spilled some tomato juice. Oh. Overwork. Just go to bed now. Tomorrow we go to the swimming pool and relax. Am I so tired? Do you remember what the Taoist priest said to me? He said something terrible is going to happen to me. Do you believe him? Nothing's evil is going to happen to us. If you still think about this, you won't be able to finish your story. And our boss will commit suicide. do for you, sir? Well? Well, where's your mistress? Now, where is she? I'm sorry, Miss Jackie's not here, but her assistant is. But Jackie asked me to take you to her. It must be the Lawrence case. Could just use a swish and I'd make her talk. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, it's Jackie we want. She killed Boss Walt. Fanny's just the bait. She probably doesn't know anything. That's right. Huh? You two leave us alone, all right? My servant tells me you came by the house. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wanted to have a word with you. <laughs> if you wanted to talk to me, why did you bring Fanny, huh? Oh, you're jealous, aren't you now, Jackie? Huh? <laughs> Come on, Ricky, tell me the truth. What do you want? <laughs> All right. Come on. <laughs> ah!
So, Jackie, what'd you think of my singing? Was it okay? Oh, I was so nervous. That was great. I tell you, I wish I could have her to sing here every night. She's that good. Oh, but I tell you, talent like hers doesn't come cheap, and she's in great demand. <laughs> oh, now, please, don't listen to her. My friends are always joking around, you know. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Mr. Jackson, one of our biggest customers, would like these two ladies to join him over there. <laughs> Well, this must be your lucky night, girls. <laughs> Jackson's the most famous film producer in town. Ever since that man Jim Walton was murdered, that is. He's always on the lookout for talent, and you girls have got it. It would be a dream to waste it, wouldn't it? Besides, it could be a lot of fun. And what's there to lose anyway? <laughs> he just wants to have a drop and a drink. All right? All right. Well, just one. OK, let's go. <laughs> this way, ladies. Mr. Jackson, let me introduce to you Fanny and her friend Jackie. It's a pleasure to meet you both. You have a lovely voice. <laughs> I quite agree with you. I don't need your opinion. Ew. You sing so well. I feel sure that you're flattering me, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> no, not at all. You see, I have an eye for talent. That's my business. And I'm never, ever wrong. Let me tell you something about myself. I'm involved in producing films. And I'm looking for some new faces. Faces like yours. <laughs> I'm afraid, Mr. Jackson. I have no film experience. Uh, she's too modest. She can handle anything, Mr. Jackson. I'm sure that she could, too. The film's about the last emperor of China, and he'll play his queen. I wouldn't know the first thing to do. Um, Mr. Jackson, let us think about it, all right? <laughs> okay. We must be great actors if we fooled them. You're right. <laughs> Best food in town, Paul. What did I tell you, huh? Hey, hey, the food looks good. Let's have some to eat, all right? Oh, okay, if you really want to. Let's go. Hmm. Waiter! You'd eat here before you flip it. You want to eat this one? It tastes like a guy, I can tell you that. Joe, that guy looks real suspicious. Okay. We're both okay. Thanks for chasing them away. Oh, sorry. Uh, you saved the day for us. <laughs> well, my name's Paul. <laughs> and this here's Joe. <laughs> I'm Jackie, and this is Fanny. <laughs> so why would all those men try and kill two beautiful girls? Do you have any idea at all? No idea at all. We'll let the police handle it. After all, isn't it their job? Uh... Excuse me, sir. We lost those gangsters in the back streets. Well, keep looking. Right. Huh? <gasps> I forgot to tell you that we are the police. And we'd better get back. You're welcome to come and visit us at 14th Street. Uh, come on, Joe, let's go. Mm -hmm. Jackie, how's the investigation going? 
Tell us quickly. Have you got any clues? It looks like that you were right. The other film companies want to stop your film at any cost. What will you do next? Go to the cops. Well, that's the whole story, Paul. Can you help us? Can you? Oh, listen, Jackie, let me tell you. Well, of course I'll help. I'm glad you filled me in. Now at least I've got something concrete to go. I'm really glad I came to see you, Paul. Can we keep this information between ourselves? <laughs> you have my word on it. And if there's anything, anything at all that I can help you with in the future, you know where to find me. Uh, thanks for all your help. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Here. Thank you. You're just going to leave without saying goodbye? Oh, then <laughs> I'll say it. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll say goodbye when you've heard of those thugs. And also found out who killed Lawrence's driver. I suspect that Jackson's behind it all. But I'm just a P.I., not a policewoman. <laughs> <laughs> The fortune teller will help us. Take a seat, gentlemen. What can I do for you? I heard that the Chinese fortune tellers use birds in order to predict the outcome of events in the future. We're planning for our brand new film. Can you predict for us whether it will achieve fame and fortune? First, the sacred bird will select a sealed envelope. The contents of the envelope reveal a number with divine ramifications. Now I replace the envelope in the stack. Quick shuffle. And the sacred bird will select it again. Now you see for yourselves the same envelope with the same number and destiny. The truth is at times unwelcome. Any female members of your group are marked for catastrophe. <gasps> but all of the obstacles will soon disappear. And your new film will be most successful. Oh, yeah. All right. We'd better go check on the girls. Right.
Now, Puyi was moved by the scholar Lan Wu Zik and determined to further his studies abroad, so in order to prevent him from going abroad, Puyi was forced to get married. The queen thought that marriage would help to keep him behind in the dynasty. into the water. The air in the float got out, making me fall into the water. <laughs> Give me a hand, huh? Imagination. Come on, let's go. Come on. I'll go to 
to the changing room first, then you join me after you've packed up everything, okay? Uh-huh. with the illusions again. What happened to you? I just met a ghost. Bullshit nut. Get back to work quickly. Strange. Joyce has changed. Maybe to have your workload. The portrait of Puyi could be more realistic. Hmm. Okay then. Now, how about Joyce's script? Is it finished or not? I'm not sure. Let me go to her place and find out how she's doing. Don't do that. Come on. Joyce will be unhappy. And how's Jackie's investigation? Any news yet? Hmm. I'll give her a call. Before the exact filming, the boss wants to hold a press conference announcing the details and theme of the new movie. How do you feel about it? Roman, you're going to be the art director, and it's your job to protect him. Hello? Roman? Sorry, who is this? <laughs> oh, Mr. Ladd. How's it going? Yeah, it's been a while. Huh? Uh, you brought them with you? Right. Palace Hotel. Room 303. Uh-huh. No problem. I'll be over by three. I'll see you then. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me pick him up for you. There you go. <laughs> I'm really sorry.
Ray, this is that bitch. Her name's Jackie and she works for Lawrence. She's a PI and I want her very dead. No worries, boss. I've already made plans. She'll look like a jigsaw puzzle. Hmm. There are two cops to take care of as well. So, Ray, you're gonna end up a very rich man on this. I like it. Soon we'll have Roman as well, Lawrence's art director. Excuse me? Mr. Light in room 1303 left something here for me to collect. You say that his name is Slack? Yeah. Just wait a minute. Right. You must be mistaken, sir. There's no guest registered in that name in this hotel. They got no respect for the law. They kidnapped our art director. You police have got to take some action. Listen, if we had some evidence, we could make an arrest then. Your efficiency is extremely low. You've got to take some action now. As I told you, Mr. Lawrence, we need evidence. I realize that your driver has been murdered, and now your art director has been kidnapped, but it's all under investigation. What are you guys afraid of? Don't tell me that the gangsters have got the backing of the police, huh? You should know that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Okay, I count on you totally. I'm waiting for the good news. I hope a solution arrives soon. What are we doing? Boss said watch him closely. Mm. Take him to the car, all right? <laughs> Hey, Joe, huh? take a look. Roman to me now, didn't I? Boss Jackson won't be happy now that Lawrence has got Roman back again. But the cops were here, right? That's no excuse. You, you, and you. I'll give you one more chance. And you better not screw up. Uh. You understand me? And we understand. Don't screw up. Go and find Roman.
happened? Fanny! 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 Jackie! Fanny! Jackie! Oh, God! Oh, Fanny! Is everything okay? Jackie! Oh, no. Uh, Ray. You know who I am. Of course you work with Mr. Jackson. <laughs> you're not only smart, but you're very pretty as well. <laughs> Please join me. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so Fanny tells me you want to talk to me about a movie role. <laughs> I could think of other things, uh, but yes, there is a possibility of a small role. Uh, well, that's more than I could have expected. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I hope. Oh, sorry to disappoint you. These are for Mr. Jackson. <gasps> mm. You are a smart girl. Mr. Jackson loves flowers, so you've done your homework. Mm. I'll give them to him.
I must have a human woman. That is my only chance for rebirth. Without that, I cannot escape the invisible chains of the spirit world. What kind of monster are you? <laughs> I am not a monster. I was once a man. You have heard of the Qing Dynasty. Well, I'm the last eunuch in China. <laughs> complete the script. Lawrence is finished. No one can defeat Jackson. <laughs> Cindy! Ah!
What did you do? Look, you're a lousy driver. Oh, no. Terrible. Now get on the radio. Go on. How did a tree get there? God, how'd I get you for a partner? Paul. Home. Uh, it was on my way over. It was Jackson's men. Uh, sure, okay. See you soon. Isn't it about time for you to do something like now? Jackie's just had a run-in with some of Jackson's men. Great. I found another private detective to investigate. He had a good record in the police force. That must be Mr. Weston. I know him. It's an honor to have him working for us. He knows that it's every citizen's duty to uphold the law. I'm sure that he'll do a great job. He has a lot of good contacts. I'm sure that between the two of them, they should be able to get enough evidence to bring Jackson to justice and let the police do their job. <laughs> hey, lady, what do you expect? First time in my house? And you're already giving her the once-over now, aren't you? Paul said I should check you out. Hmm. The film industry can be a dirty business. Everyone's so greedy. With this Roman, and now Fanny kidnapped. It's bad. You recognize him? <gasps> it's Mr. Jackson! Hmm. Now, this isn't the first time that this Mr. Jackson has been brought to the attention of the police. He fights dirty, and at the moment, both Roman and Fanny are being held captive on his ship. They're in big trouble. It's Lucky Joe's working undercover as a waiter on the ship. He's keeping in contact. He'll let me know any news. Hmm. Well, it looks like this time, Jackson's gonna get it. I just want to die. Oh, my God, poor Fanny. Tell me, where the hell have they taken her? Relax. I think you've had more than enough to drink now. I'm not drunk. You calling me drunk? Well, are you, huh? I didn't call you a drunk. I just said you had enough to drink now. Fanny. My poor Fanny. Oh, God, now you are drunk. Don't worry. We're gonna find her. Hey, we're doing everything possible. All the evidence points to this one guy, Jackson. And even Joe's working undercover on this. Hey, come on, cheer up, huh? No. No. Not until I get Fanny back. Paul, I really love that girl so much. If anything happened to her, I... What? Roman and Fanny? <laughs> Listen to me, Jackie. Joe's just contacted me from Jackson's ship. Roman and Fanny are on board. Now I want you to call a commissioner and let him know what's going on down here, because we need police back up now. Without the forces help, Jackson will get away. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sir? Get out of here! Oh, sure. Let me make you an offer. You're loyal to me in return for your own life. I don't know anything. <laughs> Such 
soft skin. That's enough. Really such a pity. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Take that! Excuse me, boss, but the men are coming. Keep an eye on them. Well, according to Joe, they're all on board the ship. We're gonna get Jackson this time. He can't escape without us. Let's hope that he hasn't any surprises waiting for us. Hmm. At last. Bring me all the papers. Hmm. Without any concrete evidence, Lawrence and the cops haven't got a thing on me. Right. Very good. Full speed ahead. Hey, uh, hey, uh, you guys will never guess what I found. So what is it then? Spit it out. Um. Well, it's uh. Um, huh? Uh, ah! Hey. Oh! Hi! Oh! Hey. Oh! Oh, God, Hold 
Over there! What do you want? We want to meet Mr. Jack. <laughs> no! Stop it! Hey, don't shoot. It's only me. I'm, I'm working undercover here. Let's go and find Jackson, all right? Right. For Jackson. Uh. Here, have something to eat. Uh. Uh. Oh God, Paul, is that all you think about? <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Indy should have gone away. What makes you go and say that, huh? I killed her! You? You killed Cindy? You must be in shock. <laughs> What's happened to you? What happened? You better run, Big Sam. I can't control myself. <laughs> Joyce. Joyce. Joyce, are you all right? Oh, help me. Help me to remember your name. Joyce, it's me, Dixon. You're supposed to be writing a script for me, remember? <laughs> oh, why 
don't you help me? Huh? Oh. Joyce, what happened to your hand? To me. You shouldn't play games with vampires. Mm, I'm sorry. Mm. Now, tell me something. Are you from heaven or hell? Mm. 
I know I had a beautiful mother. <laughs> so who was your father? The vampire beast. Oh. Is that so? That means you're from hell. He's my dad! Oh. Dad! Dad! Is your father still alive? He's just through there, see? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Stop them fighting! Stop them fighting! Please, hey. stop them fighting! You want me to fight that machine? Please, let me help my uh, father! Uh, Vampire! <laughs> <laughs> this way. Your father was very evil. Now he's returned to hell, which is where you'll end up if you're not very careful. What? Hold it, you two! Stop! Hey? Right, listen, warrior. You've killed a beast, and now by doing so, you've released Joyce's spirit. Who are you? Oh, I'm a Taoist. And these here are my vampires, and are under my control, so they will never commit any crimes. <laughs> okay. So long. Are you sure you can control them? Of course I can control them. I can guarantee that there'll be no more problems. You can trust me, sir. I'm a man of my word. Uh, would this face lie? Hmm. Go. Bye-bye, <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye. It's hard to finish the story. She should be famous. Let's go.